Hey there, I'm Joe Holmes, Community Manager for the Age of Empires franchise, and this is Age Up, a show about the wild history behind the civilizations in Age of Empires. Today's episode is... I love this new Age Definitive Edition wallpaper art showing Alexander the Great and the blue-tiled Ishtar Gates of Babylon in the Persian Empire. Alexander invaded the vast empire in the east in 334 BCE, winning victory after victory over the Persians, and eventually sacking and burning down their ceremonial capital of Persepolis. Three years after entering Persian territory, he captured the magnificent citadel of Babylon, naming himself Lord of Asia. But in 323, at the age of 32, he died, uh. possibly from typhoid or malaria, in the city that he had meant to serve as the seat of his colossal new empire. Shh. <laughs> In 2014, 2,337 years after the death of the famous Macedonian, an incredible tomb was excavated near Amphipolis, Greece, at an ancient mound called the Costa Tumulus. The Costa Tomb might just be the final resting place of someone from Alexander's royal family, perhaps even Roxana, the beautiful Bactrian princess he had married in Persia. Shh. Have you ever looked at those Stone Age rock circles in Age of Empires and thought, what are those things? Well, they're called megaliths, a word that literally means giant stones. These rock monuments were created by humans in Stone Age cultures throughout the world, from Scotland to France to Korea. The oldest megaliths are from a site in Turkey dating to around 10,000 BCE. This Stone Age sanctuary, perhaps the first temple in human history, is steeped in mystery and has only recently been excavated. It was created by hunter-gatherers using stone tools around 7,000 years before the Great Pyramid of Giza. The megaliths in Age of Empires show human figures on them, like these Stone Age cave paintings of hunters from the Sahara, or these rock carvings of dancing people from Azerbaijan, or these petroglyphs from Nevada. One of the most famous megaliths in the world is Stonehenge in England. For years, it was thought to be a sort of stone calendar, but instead it might have been used as a temple or a sacred burial ground. There's a story that the ancient Druids made Stonehenge, but it turns out that's a myth, as Stonehenge was built long before the arrival of the Celts in the British Isles. Hi -yo, yo, yo. That's it for this episode of Age Up. Next time we'll learn about the ancient Sumerians, inventors of beer. Ooh.